Greetings and salutations, my comrades and amigos. Pokemon Master Skywalker here with another video. In this video, I will be going over the first in what I hope to be a series of videos on the latest project I have come up with on the Minecraft MineLogic server. In this case, and I'm just walking around a bit here to showcase it, I have created a special layout around the central tower of my base. And this is pretty much just going to be the layout of the castle for me. Um, so the idea is I'm going to be making this massive medieval castle. And the layout as it is, is actually just the interior aspect. There's also going to be an exterior aspect which encompasses at the very least the farms and the sheep barn but probably also goes around a few other areas of significance too and that's just going to be the outer wall and at the moment I'm just working on the inner wall and things within that area. So I think I will start with what's pretty much going to be the central location. It's called the, uh, well we do have that. I'll actually start here. This is the key which is, it's basically in a medieval castle, it's like the main central tower with like lots of living space and stuff like that. It's just like the central tower. Um, that's, that's the main central tower is the keep. Then off the keep for the second, for the first main room, it's pretty much just going to be this massive room called the Great Hall, and there's going to be like a throne and some nice feasting tables where you can hold lots of guests from all across the land, and just like this massive room with ornate walls and awesome furnishings and stuff like that. I've got no idea how I'm going to achieve it looking ornate, but yep, that's pretty much what the Great Hall is going to be. Then on either side of the Great Wall, Great Hall, sorry, extending to the wall, the main castle wall, we have on this side the kitchens, which is where the food gets prepared. I'm probably just going to put like a bunch of food there and stuff in chests and furnaces and stuff. And on the other side, we have, if the sign's available, breweries and bakehouses. I can never get my mouth around the first word brewery, but you can read it on the sign there, assuming I can get a good look at it. Yep. Um, pretty much it's just going to be two rooms, one of which is going to be where potions are going to be brewed, even though in the original, original medieval castles it was actually brewing like alcohol and stuff like that. In this case, it's going to be brewing potions, and then bakehouse is for baking bread, and so I'm probably just going to put in a bunch of wheat there and a couple of furnaces to get the look across and stuff like that. Here, on this side of the main area of habitated area, uh, we have what's going to be a courtyard, and this is going to be the main public courtyard. I know it's not very big, but, you know, a lot of space is taken up by the Great Hall. But pretty much here, on this side is public stables. As the sign says, area will need to be re-sided upon. So instead of a solid wall as part of the layout, I put it as a dotted line. So that it's like, yeah, I can change that if I so desire. Pretty nice. Over that side is the entry to my original base. I'm thinking I'll have that as like a memorial area to the humble beginnings of the kingdom sort of thing. This sign I believe says main courtyard. Over here we've got the gatehouse which is the main defendable area. Probably a couple of like archer stations up the top and stuff like that. Just like the main entryway. On either side You've got these little three wide walls. Now most of the walls are actually just going to be one wide. But here it's three wide. So there's room for you to like walk between them. 
and this is what was called a barbican. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, basically, what the purpose of the barbican was is you just fun funnel your attackers through and it's like a really thin corridor full of death traps and stuff. I've got a couple fun ideas for what I can do there, including walking through sewerage, cactus, uh, giant pits of death, complex redstone crushing systems, and a labyrinth. So I think that should be pretty fun. Uh, this isn't actually part of the main layout, but I will be putting a dungeon in like below the main castle. Now we've covered most of almost everything, but there's a couple more things I want to look at. It's sort of difficult to get over that side and I will need to fix that up. I'll just do that. Here we go. This is going to be my own personal private courtyard where I can just have a nice place to relax and stuff. Personal courtyard as the sign says. Over here, private stables. Uh, nice and roomy area. I'm going to keep like maybe four horses there or at least room for four horses. I don't really have four horses. I've got one. Uh, private way out. I'm planning on making this like a redstone wall thing. Because like I know medievally they didn't have redstone walls and stuff where they move away, but I feel like for my own personal use I want to have a way to get out and also like a way to bring my horses out and go for a ride, stuff like that. So I'm going to have it like that. Um, in terms of this being like an actual defendable castle, that's not what it's going to be, because in Minecraft it's not defendable at all. If they're fragile, all you need to do is tunnel through and there goes the whole defense pretty much. Uh, one thing I would like to note, I actually did some massive terraforming in this area. I had to pretty much destroy the mountain to put the scaffold for the wall here, and so I just had to change it up completely. I think it still looks okay, but yeah. Uh, as I was saying a bit earlier, it's like this is designed off a medieval castle in terms of medieval defense. These medieval defensive strategies, they actually work very well. In terms of Minecraft defensive strategies, not so much. It's more for looks and theme than anything else. Um, but yeah, that, that, this, this is just the first episode, so I'm only going over the layout. I will probably proceed to actually start building some things for the next episode. Um, if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe so you can see the next episode in this series. I'm hoping to make a really good fun little series. Other than that, that is it for this episode. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.